They the weren't going to do it again. It was a one-year one increase. Plan. Right. Actually, they said the compensation plan was going to be a one-year one compensation plan, and it would be adjusted for this year. So I, I thought the way I understood it was that the COLA adjusted it to current current year That's values. Yeah. That's why I'm so if you take the base and then add the COLA on, that's fine. Yeah. That's. But that's not what you said. But. You but said we're going we're going to talk oh. about it, so I don't. I would just as soon not have a. The discussion at this point. Okay. Uh, you Nobody certainly likes my idea of putting in the line item of the overages and then putting in the real spending numbers, real budget numbers. I'm not sure. I, I don't understood. think it'll be much different. I don't think it'll be much different because we actually will not spend that much money. <coughs> These numbers here are based on all the expenses, the supplies, maintenance, and program expenses are calculated by what I had spent last year, last, this, this, the previous fiscal mm -hmm. season. So I, you know, something where it was where I spent a little more, like repairs, we really did not have a lot of repairs. The only thing we needed was a refrigerator and, um, and some maintenance on our stove. But Life Path went half with us because you know we share those items. Um, so this is all based on what we've already spent last year. So last year you had a capital expense of half a refrigerator. No, actually we COAK. were. It, the refrigerator was donated. Okay. Ours ended up breaking and. Um, Council on Aging has an app that you can apply to them for grants for those type of. Yes, you can. Um, and that was probably going to be our next step. But Good. it ended up getting, That's great. you know, donated. donated. So That's perfect. Thank you. you know, yeah. I'm confused. I thought you said things on here were lower because you have leftover money. We were being conservative. Let's put it that way. We were being conservative <clears throat> on, our, on our estimates and felt that if they were going to be higher than that, that it would be covered by the overages that, that we have in the fund. You mean a year ago? You were being concerned. No, currently. Current, 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 FY19. Current, fiscal right. 19. <clears throat> Can you look into your crystal ball? Yeah, really. <laughs> what do you see for your building next door? Have you been told anything? <laughs> um, actually, no, we have not. Um, all I know is that it's still in the... Um, mediation so to speak I guess I don't know but presently right now we're just trying to make our building as you know suitable You're and add programs to it and that's it for now we would like that building next door we would like <coughs> any place right now that's a little bigger <laughs> would be nice but the uh, the lawyers are still playing with it yes <coughs> that's the problem with the building at the moment the lawyer the lawyers it isn't even in court. Uh, as, I the select board, then. as I understand it, the, uh, the Attorney General has said she doesn't need to be involved. needs to go through probate, and she passed it back to the lawyers, and it hasn't gone anywhere since then. And there was a request for some carpet replacement that needs to be done to the capital. Yep. I don't believe it's right on that sheet, Bruce, but uh, we did review that. The Capital Improvement Committee reviewed that, and we are recommending it. Uh, but that will come out of the building maintenance through Kevin's fund, okay. is where that uh, money's will be coming from. There's a uh, on asbestos issue there. The tiles. And right with the tiles and that. And so the exact dollar amount is still up in the air a little bit because it depends when they take that carpet up, uh, you know, what comes up with it. So they've got to have a company come in and abate it. it, right? And then they will go over with a vinyl. But we, we have, as a committee, we have approved a recommendation anyways. And that fund will come, as I said, that will come out of the building maintenance fund. So there are there are some maintenance items that need to be done with that building. You that you 
simply cannot put off until we find out what's going on with the other building. Well, I, don't, I don't believe with something like that we have any choice. The elderly shouldn't be in a, but uh, I get, an unsafe environment. But there isn't much in maintenance. So the, the, the building the, maintenance comes out of the building, building maintenance budget. Building, it doesn't right. come out of the senior center budget because right. that's a town-owned building. Yep. Exactly. Okay. Any, any further questions for Marlene? And then okay. is the uh, town of Sunderland and Whiteley going to pay their share of it? Or are we paying us all ourselves? You can see on the budget that yeah. they pay 25% um, each. Oh, not not for the town, for the building itself. Any maintenance on the building itself is, is so. borne wholly by the town of Deerfield because it's Deerfield's building. So maybe we That's the way I understand the idea, it. Their agreement was that they shared all expenses. The I, capital to build a new thing, we pay for it. I, After that, they maintain it. This is the way that, that they've been doing it for years and years and years, and it's the way they've continued to do I it. I don't know what the reasoning is behind it. It just seems that way, right? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we ought to look at, at uh, putting in a rent item. Yeah. That's, that's a possibility in doing it that way. The okay. bottom line is it used to be set up so that major improvements we took care of Anything else went through the budget and it was shared by all the towns because all the towns use it. Now that was the principle of it. Hmm. Has it been like that since I've been here? How long have you been here? Four years. That's how long I've been gone. <laughs> so evidently they made new rules once I left. Of course they did. <laughs> exactly. Okay. <clears throat> Any further questions? Yes. What do you do? Do you bill the other two towns? Do you send them a bill? I do, quarterly. And if they don't pay, do we throw the people out? Yep. <laughs> so far, they've paid. Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay, any more questions? Can I have a motion on the budget? And by the, by the way, the, uh, in, in talking with the, the selectmen, and since we have one member of the Board of Selectmen, please correct me if I'm wrong, uh, it's my understanding that with the, the salary items, that when the salary is either set by the selectmen or approved by the town meeting, however that works, then the budgets will be adjusted to take care of any changes in the salaries. So we're not voting a number tonight? We're we are voting a number tonight. It's, it's either that or not take up any of this stuff. I think we should. Pardon? It's, it's, we're waiting on somebody to make a decision. Well, it, that's true, but it, it, it becomes our problem. So that's why we're going through the budgets. But the, the intent is that we go through the budgets and then it, we're not well, talking and, large and this, numbers this of This way, if you've approved it now and the salaries change, all you have to do is approve the new number knowing that the salaries have changed, but you've gone through everything else. I don't know. I, I'm just throwing that out there. We, do heard something. The, we heard the same thing last year, that that was a one-time only, that they are going to do the steps, and, and I've gone through the whole book, and the steps range anywhere from, um, you know, I think around 5% to this one here is 7.7%. .7%. Okay, we, we are and going to go through, we're going to go talk about salaries. Well, if we're going to, if, what I'm saying is if we're voting on a number, if, I'm if not you, if you look at on that So would you, like to, would you like to adjourn? So, so making a motion to adjourn. We're either going to vote on it or we're not. I think we've got to vote on it to move it forward. That However, was the point. We have to turn around and make sure that the message is given to the selectmen that they've got to do something about that because they cannot afford a 5% increase plus a 2% cost of adjustment. 7% increase is ridiculous. I've done an analysis of all the salaries that are um, in the general fund for the town budgets. and. Um, through that analysis, the average uh, increase is 4.73% overall. We still can't afford it. We're limited by 2.5%. So, now, it's one thing to say 2.5%. It's another thing to turn around and give the schools traditionally 3% because that's not a major problem because we don't take a full 2.5% for a lot of our line budgets. But we can't afford to keep giving 4 and 5% or 7%. And if we don't have any consistency, I don't know what you got to do other than go to the 
select board meeting and say, look, we got to talk about this, or we bring the personnel committee in and talk about it too. But well, 4.73 percent to me is high. Where did you come up with 4.73 percent? May I ask? I said I went through an analysis of all the salaries that are affected in the general fund budget. For the town? For as the opposed town. to the schools? Including, so, the, including so, the police department? No. Scams? No, I can't, I can't include the police department. They're completely a, well, mo a separate the, deal. Most of them are like 2.5% to 3% at the mm -hmm. most. Police, the schools yeah. are 25 3%. And SCIMS I did not include. Right. And schools SCIMS. are not 3%. Schools? Schools are not 3%. Well, are they? Well, if they have a, Any, anywhere from they have five percent to eleven percent, they have cola or two or three. Because they, they all have cola plus their percent increase. <clears throat> so when you add those two together, like Skip says, they're five plus percent. Except at the top step, where they're two percent, right? And that's where thirty, forty percent of your people are. <clears throat> In any event. We've got to move this thing along, so I'm going to make a motion that we uh, endorse this budget. Subject to a final vote confirming the uh, pays. Absolutely. I'll second that. Subject. I agree with the subject. With the, right. With the subject. Besides, that was a cheap increase. Only $400 for the year. Well, besides that, what's the account number again? 50? 541-5420. Thank you. So the number that we're voting is $52,274, correct? No, we're, no. we're voting Deerfield Pays 26137 Okay. Which do we? We're going to vote the Deerfield portion because. Correct. Okay. Twenty-six one thirty-seven. That's what you said. And I second and your motion. motion. And a motion that's right. Most moved. I didn't. Move it. I moved it. Moved. Seconded. There, I seconded. The other way around. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. The yes. other way around. All those in favor. Aye. 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 Opposed. Abstentions. Two abstentions. Three. Okay. Three. Did you raise your hand? No. I I voted for it. Oh. Okay. Sorry. How many are here? Six. So you got four. Three, four zero, zero two. Four zero, four zero two. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I keep up the good work. Yeah. Thank oh, you. thank you. Thanks, Marlene. You're welcome. Aren't you glad you don't have to, to go, go to Sunland and Whiteley? I know, but I'll be back early in the morning. I know. To go get you the fun with the seniors. Have <laughs> <laughs> fun. John. Next. All yours. Right. Yeah. As I'll ever be. Account number is 210. 210. 210. We're going to do 5110 first because it shows up first. Yeah, he's got um, which is the which is the four, four budgets in there. Yeah. In the 200s. The salary budget, only because it's in there first. So it's two ten fifty one ten. Do you? That's good enough. Okay. Any comments you want to make, or? No, the only comments are general salary lines. You have eight people that are covered by the collective bargaining agreement. So obviously that's a 60 cent an hour adjustment for those eight full-time personnel. The only people that are outside of that is both myself and our administrative assistant, uh, Deb Austin down bottom, that are on the compensation plan. And those were adjusted uh, in accordance with Carolyn's request at this point with a step, as Bruce asked, plus the 2%. Mm -hmm. So. Um, 
Mine was a significant jump because they edited that final step 10 last minute before we accepted the compensation study last year. It was actually adjusted down 50 cents an hour like a week before town meeting for some reason. Mm -hmm. So now from step nine to 10 is literally a huge jump really? versus less of a jump. Okay. So hmm. you, you see myself as a significant increase. I literally, I put the old number in my first pay period and Brenda, came, or Brenda um, Barbara came over and saw me and said, no, that's not the number they put in. What are you talking about? Here's the chart I have. She goes, no, this is actually the chart that was accepted at town meeting. I'm like, when did this change? <laughs> Literally, this chart is a week and a half I, ago. Yeah, I, wasn't, I had no idea. <clears throat> I wasn't yeah, I aware that that happened. Changed. Yeah, it went but, from like 37.75 back to like 37.10 <clears throat> an hour. So it dropped like 65 cents, where now it jumps up to 39. Now you add the 2% on top of it. So it shows even a larger jump. Okay. So last year, I only got a less of an increase. It was... Yeah, it wasn't 20 much. or 30 cents adjustment last year and this year is a major jump up yeah we're last year i would have rather it just proportionate so this year yeah it doesn't look like i'm almost red flagged go ahead um, on the quinn bill there's an increase um is that due to, to for employees or is that? The Quinn bill, what we did is there's been a, a long-standing debate about it where legislature in Massachusetts started not funding it about nine years ago. So they stopped reimbursing the towns the 50%. And some communities across the Commonwealth stopped paying that 50% and just paid the one half the towns had paid. So what's happened is we've seen a shift across the Commonwealth where police departments and towns are either picking up 50% or the whole amount. And what you notice is that the good police officers that are there for life, just like teachers, gravitate naturally towards the communities that picked up the Quindle as a full. So the, the police officers recognized that their last collective bargaining round, and they bargained into it for less of an increase for the senior people, but the junior people coming in to actually get the full Quindle. So everybody's at one level platform. Everybody's on the same playing field. Dollar-wise or, or? Dollar-wise and Quinville-wise. There's, okay. there's no difference between a brand new kid and somebody that's been here for 30 years. If you have an associate's degree, you get 10% adjustment. If you have a bachelor's degree, you get a 20% adjustment. Everybody's treated the same. There's no longer a new kid gets 50%, a <clears throat> senior guy gets 100%, and there's a huge division. Is, is there, are there steps in the contract, or is it? There are. There are steps in the contract. Okay. Yes, there's 10 of them. Okay. Yep. So nobody received the step in this contract? Yes. You notice that there's about a 60 cent jump an hour. Yeah. So a $1 jump an hour would be about $2,880, where you see about a $1,600 jump in most of their pays. From FY18 to FY19, <clears throat> that's your 60 cent adjustment an hour for those people covered under the collective bargaining agreement. Is that a percentage? Or is that, is well, it, it depends. The 60 cents right. is, is standard, it, for, standard for, for sergeant everybody. and patrolman. Okay. So it's actually not a percentage, Bruce. Yep. It's a set rate. Gotcha. Yep. So, you know, somebody at the higher end, like sergeants, it may be 1.98%, yep. right. where somebody at the lower end, a junior kid, it may be 2.71. Just as it, yeah. But it's 60 cents. It's 60 cents. You know, okay. Did they, what, the step increase you spoke of, does anybody get a step increase or is that the 60 cents? That's the 60 cents is that step jump. And in accordance with their collective bargaining agreement, wow. I do two performance reviews on them a year. Yeah. Well, again, remember, they took a lower increase so they could get everybody the educational incentive. Okay. Because they saw new kids walking in the door at 41,000 and other communities around us hiring them at 52 to 54. So if you're a brand new kid, you were born and raised in Deerfield, you wanna come here or do you wanna jump up to Montague and walk in the door at 13,000 higher? I, I mean, to me, it's a no brainer. If you wanna afford a house, right. the money's the money. So with the difference is made up in the Quinville payment? Yes, yes, that's what they took last contract round. 
John, could you uh, clarify the school resource officer funding, where that's coming from? So, so the school resource officer funding, we, we fully front the money through the town in case there's a problem with the donation after July 1st. So that money is built in here. It is uh, Brian Ravish down there in that line. And Deerfield Academy still donates the $30,000 to us. Mm -hmm. And as part of Frontier Regional's budget, they, uh, they built in, I think, 15701 So about 45000 comes into that account a year. And what happens is Brenda and I, as we work through the year, we eventually come to the point where we shift Brian's salary out of the police department account into that donations account, if you will. Mm -hmm. And when that happens, the budget's reduced and that money at year end is turned into free cash. And depending on the type of year I have, whether it's good or bad, is how much money is turned in at the end of the year. Last June 30th, I think we turned in just about $20,000 in, in payroll. It was actually less than I anticipated. But again, that's, you know, this year from July 1st to about December 20th, I had an employee out on medical leave that I had to backfill for a full-time person for five and a half months. It's a huge impact for me, mm -hmm. huge impact. You know, in the year before there was something, I actually was hoping that $20,000 last year was gonna be about 35, but that's the fluctuation that we get. So, Bement and Deerfield Elementary are still not contributing? Bement has actually uh, started to contribute. I think Ken gave me 1000 or $2,000 last year that went into that account. Deerfield Elementary does not, every year they're scrimping by, you know, with, with pennies to literally satisfy the town, the finance committee, the board of selectmen. Yeah, so I haven't been able to, uh, to get any funding out of them in good faith when they're scrimping and, and talking about cutting. So um, Eagle Brook ha has thought about it many times, but I haven't seen anything from them yet. Is that 45,000 used uh, uh, to offset the wage, is that 45,000? used to offset the uh, wages for the officer? It does, it also goes towards his training or equipment he needs. So, you know, if we buy him a new radio for the school, that $1,000 or $2,000 may come out of that account. But in general, there's nothing else taken out of there that's non-school related. Uh, the uh, rape aggression defense class that we send people to, it's called RAD. We sent two people to the instructor school and I think that probably cost us $1,000, was like maybe 400 a piece. Sounds that cool. came out of that account. But it wasn't specific to just Brian, the school resource officer. My other, one of my female officers that I sent, it came out of that account as well because it's school related. It's teaching that in the school. So all that comes out of there. And July 1st, just in case we, um, we ran into a delay in getting any of the donations, I think we carried over 13, 14,000 from last year. Okay, I was gonna say yeah. 12, but close. Yeah, it was right around there. And then DA gave us the 30, and Frontier Regional gave us about the 15. So that's why about a month ago, maybe six or eight weeks ago, Brenda and I decided, okay, now we're going to shift Brian over to that account. The downside is, when it's a revolving account, $45,000 seems like an extensive amount of money. However, under state law, leaving it as a revolving account, we have to pay benefits out of it. Right. So once you start at $45,000 and you start taking out medical and Franklin County retirement at 18.91%. 20, over 20 you know, is coming here. So it's over 20 now, I'm sorry. So you start taking that out, the 45,000 has gone like six months, yeah. seven months. Yeah, yeah absolutely. So you'll notice if you literally track my budget, I don't start pulling out of that account August 1st or September 1st because it'd be gone. Literally in February, March, we'd be like at, at ground zero. So we generally wait till October, November, and then we start pulling out of that account. And towards April, May, Brenda and I are reconciling numbers to figure out where we're at. So, so by the end of the year, there's, there's essentially gonna be little or nothing in it except what? I probably try and roll over five or ten year. grand a year just as a cushion. Yeah, yeah, yes, fine. but so. nothing extensive. I'm not going to roll over thirty. So partly okay. because you don't know when you're going to get your donations from um, <clears throat> DA or from the school. I understand that part, but you're still fully funding inside of this regular budget the full salary. Absolutely. 
Yep. And I understand why you're doing mm -hmm. it because it's anticipated. Mm -hmm. But in all reality, then at the end of the year, then the whatever is rate is uh, fifty-five thousand. Uh, fifty-five thousand. Uh, that should be, uh, you know, a good portion of that should come back to, you know, whatever the cost plus benefits, uh, be come back to um, free cash. Mm -hmm. So, just to follow your point, if the salary is fifty-five, we receive forty-five. There's a ten thousand dollar debit to this. Well, it's, that's 55 less benefits. The 40 no, it's not benefits. This is just salary. The, the, yeah, the um, 45 has to be, benefits have to be paid out of the 45. Out of the 45. This 55 doesn't to. represent the. They, uh, right, they don't have to. Yes, they, they do. They do? Uh, On they, a revolving fund, they do. They do? It's, it's yes. not a revolving fund anymore. Oh, it's not? Oh, we did shift it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, it's not a revolving fund anymore. So, so last year, when it was still a revolving fund, yes, we had to. Um, take the benefits out of there, but now that it's not, um, we don't. Good. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, so then good. more money would come back in this line. Then. Right. Okay. All right. Um, since we had an increase in, in wages, I would en envision an increase in overtime pay and vacation pay? No, I usually try and, and hold. Well, first of all, vacation pay, I pay out with part time people. So when I backfill that shift, in the full-time employees out on vacation, it's pretty much a set rate. One of my senior part-time people may get $18 an hour or a top step person may get $20 an hour. So if you take three weeks of vacation for that employee and you backfill them with a part-time person at a set rate an hour, I don't backfill with overtime. So this is a backfill number, it's not a paid out vacation. This is a backfill number, Thank you. yes. This is to pay the person who's filling in filling for yes. that person mm -hmm. on, yes. on vacation. How about holiday pay? Holiday pay kind of varies year to year, and it's extremely difficult to predict because it depends on, with the four and two rotational schedule, how many employees work that day, take a paid holiday. If they work it under contractual guidelines, they have the right to get double time and a half, or they can take an additional day somewhere else. So. It actually, it's uh, it turns into a guesstimate is the bottom line. You do the best you can analyzing the past year's numbers and working through it. <coughs> Brenda White, um, through December 31, 2017, uh, we spent, where is it, 47%? of the salaries and wages budget for this year. Um, I would think it would be 50%. I mean, it's only 3% difference, but 3% of 798,000 well, is a lot of money. When you're paying, um, you gotta remember, when we paid the, the salaries, when we paid them on December 27th, we were paying them through December 24th. So you had a whole week. Okay, that, because that, of the cutoff. Correct. Right. I move we uh, accept the police payroll budget of $820,072 on the same provision with the uh, administrative assistant uh, uh, step to be reconsidered if necessary. And John's. The John's is second that. Any other discussion? Just as a point of information, several years ago I sent a letter to the uh, Ethics Commission and I want to make sure everybody understands that uh, the only thing that I cannot talk about in the police budget is my son's pay and number two is benefits. Other than that I can talk about everything. But the last couple of years you've discussed his budget, I've been down in Florida so I haven't even been around here. That's right. But uh, this year, since you're bringing it up early, I just want to say that I will abstain as a matter of principle, but other than that, I, I can talk about anybody else in the budget, and I can certainly talk about all the other things. Thank God, because he'd probably nitpick it the most. Yeah, <laughs> probably yeah. 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 Well, he, ta he tapped me when he oh, came yeah. in and said, can you reduce that salary a little bit? <laughs> 
Okay. If there are no further, uh, if there's no further discussion, all those in favor of the uh, police payroll budget as presented? Aye. Opposed? No, no. Abstentions? One abstention. Two. 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 So it's four, zero, oh, two. two. Okay. Uh, police department expense budget. So as you notice, I kind of shifted the numbers around this year. Brenda and I went through the past uh, two fiscal years. We went through uh, FY16 and FY17, June 30th numbers, and we adjusted things down. The cruisers that we have now are more gas efficient. At one point in time, that gas account was at 35,000 years ago. We dropped it to 32, and you see a drop in 29, 28. And this year, in general, we're hovering about 17 to $1,800 a month. So I think 24,000 is relatively comfortable right now. Where we've seen a make up for it is actually in the maintenance. We've actually added money in the maintenance because things are breaking down on them. The catalytic converters are going way too early on them. There is now a recall on them. Uh, the engines are starting to stutter at 100,000 miles. And I don't know if it's you know because they're V6s versus V8s and the natural responding that we do on them and the hard work they do. I don't know. Uh, but then again, we're, we're in the first year. The 2013s that we had, one's at 145,000 and it's retired out back. It's now a detail car. And the other 2013's got 100 and, I think it's at 113,000. And that one's due up to be replaced next fall. Those are sedans. No, those are, those are actually the new utilities. Okay, they're the utility vehicles. Yeah, and we've okay. replaced internal engine components in mm -hmm. them, like major components, like heads, and uh, you name it. I'm, um, I'm concerned, but we'll see if the new ones get better and better and better. Has the state police had the same problem? Yeah, they're having the same issues. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you see the carbon monoxide things going across the board. Yeah, it's, it's pretty much standard across the board. So we're going to Chrysler's next? We're going to what? Go to the Chrysler's, the Dodge's? Go to what, the Charger? Yeah, whatever. The Chargers are too fast. Really? Yeah, they're way too fast. Yeah, no. I don't imagine they stand up any better either. No, there's, there's issues with the Chargers. They're great cars. The way they handle are amazing. The gas is not as good as the utilities. You can actually get them in all-wheel drive now, which is nice. Uh, they've actually put oversized brakes on them. The first models were burning up brakes ungodly because the brakes were undersized for that vehicle and its weight rating. Um, but they've had some electronic problems with them. They've had uh, issues with the transmissions, which can be extremely costly. And the utilities are great. I mean, the all-wheel drives and the clearance on them, the gas is decent on them. Like I said, we're, we're just, we're running into, I think the first few years of the catalytic converters and some other issues. So where are they coming apart? I mean, the, the, the maintenance budget has been at 3,000 quite, quite a few years now. And then all of a sudden it's nine. I mean, is it just this two or three vehicles? It's jumped $6,000? No, so what you actually see is when you look at the past fiscal years of what we were actually spending out of that line item, was nowhere in comparison of what was actually budgeted. And that was one of the major problems. We shifted, you know, you're it's, shifting monies inside the budget? Yeah. Yes, yes. Unexpected expenditures. The actual expenditures were much higher than what was budgeted at the time. It's So FY16, cruiser repair was 6576. That was in 16. And 17 was 10,113. Oh. And it, it's hit or miss. I mean, one of my guys inadvertently two weeks ago ran over something we don't even know what it was and punctured a gas tank. Oh my. Sure, gas tank's $398, no big deal, right? $1,400 to install it. Yeah. Well, what do you do? It was negative 24 degrees. He actually thinks it was ice. We're going on a medical call down into a driveway and thinks it was actually like, 
and my two mechanics that work for me as cops as well are like, listen, when it's negative 24 degrees out, even steel, you can penetrate it easy. I don't know. I'm not a mechanic, nor am I an engineer. So but I know I got an $1,821 bill from Marcotte Ford. That's not something that we can do here at the, at the highway garage? It may be, but then again, can I take a cruiser out of service for a week or two while Chuck gets the part and okay. then figures out what he's doing, ripping the entire rear end out of that car? That's the downside okay. of it. Yeah. All right. How much of these repairs are being done over the time garage? Chuck does a lot for us. He actually does an amazing job. It's just sometimes we literally can't get to him. And winter is obviously the worst yeah. because every snowstorm they're beating up on the plows. So for the following week or two after every storm, he's replacing blades or he's welding stuff, he's fixing stuff and getting us in for an oil change, no big deal. Getting us in for a major repair, problem. Yeah, I mean, I can't steal him for, for eight to 16 hours to drop a rear end out of a no, car. No, no, no yep. I understand that. No. Yeah, so that's the only downside. The summertime, I can grab him pretty much any time. Yeah, and that's... So you see between the two years of the 6,500 to the 10 grand, I kind of rounded it out. I stole out of gas, mm -hmm. but I increased the cruiser repair to kind of equal it out. <coughs> Any other questions? Uh, yes, uh, tech professional services increase around $1,000. Is that right? From 3,500 to 4,500. 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, yep. Yeah. So tech and professional services, that was originally transferred over years ago out of uh, the town general account uh, under contracted services. And then we transferred more out of contracted services in 2018 that you see down below under TriTech software. But what that was at the time was that was a radio and light maintenance account and other uh, services accounts that we have through the police department. So we pay $2,100 a year to a company to maintain all of our radios, cruiser lights. So if one of them goes down, they come up from Connecticut and repair them. That includes station radios, it includes the cruisers and all the emergency lights. So all those different contracts come out of that tech and professional services account. So you expect that to be 20%, 25% more this year? Yeah, I think last year when we did an analysis, we were actually spending close to 4,300 out of it. Okay, so that you. was one of those adjusted ones, Bruce. Good. Yep. Well, if that's the case, what's this other line up above there that says radio repair for 5,500? Radio repair is a general one for ordering new radios out of. And I think it's been mislabeled for years, uh -huh. and I kind of just left it alone. <laughs> yep. What do you want to call it? <laughs> radio replacement. Radio replacement. Because that's because that's the first you just got done saying it was radio yeah. repair on the other one, yep. and then I go back and it's a radio radio repair. So if that's replacement, mm -hmm. I think it clarify things. Yep. So you got added um, this year to your budget about twelve thirteen thousand uh, dollars. this year we've added twenty two hundred. No, I mean from another source. Oh, from last year? Yes. Last year we, we took out of the town contracted services account right. for a lot of areas that were in there under general things under the selectman's right. office and we put them in here. The, the actual police expense account, if you jump back to 2010, used to be about $103,000. Okay. So you see it right now at 95, it used to be about 103,000. Yeah. We then shifted stuff under Bernie Kubiak to different areas. We decided that all computer maintenance, we were gonna put under town professional services and we were gonna consolidate everything. So we pulled out of the police department, highway department, and we put it all under that master account. Right. So then it jumped down to about the 89,000 you see in 2013. Right. And then I reduced it more because in 14 and 15 and 16, we were actually talking about an override. And Casey and Carolyn came to Kevin and Scarborough and myself a week before town meeting and said, we need to find $15,000. And I think it was right before you started. Must have been. I cut 5,000. Kevin cut 5,000 from highway. You were in on this. And, uh, yeah, and this was a week name. before town meeting to balance out the budget. I cut five grand, Kevin cut five grand. And I think we told Casey, find your 5,000 somewhere else for the, the, the third. Yeah. So, and so this has nothing to do with the town administrator's new line item budget. Oh, what's that? For tech, technical services? No, this, this, we, in fact, last year is when we pulled that, 
11,000 out, maybe the 2,800 as well, and moved it into yours. Yes. Right. From, right. from contracted services. Because that it was, was where it was because at. Because it was strictly so it was all just police. Contracted. Yes. Where Correct. Where the contracted services, mm -hmm. for the most part, yeah. the computers, but they go from, from every <clears throat> department in town. I know. It seemed like it was a new line item in the town administrator's budget, which we haven't got to yet, but relative to computer services. Mm -hmm. What is Goose Town? Goose Town is one of the companies that we use for repairs and contracts. Okay. And TriTech is our software for the computers. That's your police operating system. Gasoline? Is yes, it sir. Down because of less usage? No, no, no. Gasoline, I think the, the cruisers are more gas efficient than the Crown Vicks. The Crown Don't Vicks, we were seeing about an 11, per, uh, 11 mile per gallon, sometimes nine miles per gallon. Less gallons. Yeah, where these new cars we're seeing actually 14 to 16 on average. Really? Yeah. Um, oh. With all that idle time and everything yeah, else, well, too? Yes. Just, did you consider that the price of gas is probably going to be going up from everything I've read? I know we're not talking a lot of I money. I know, I know. We're not talking a lot of money in the big picture. Yeah. Though. Yep. You know, it, it, the sad part is every year, John, I get asked the same question by the Finance Committee. Do, do you think you should budget a little bit more because we don't know what's going to happen with gas? I, again, same thing, it's a crapshoot. You know, it may drop. Every May it jumps, and every May the FERCOG puts out a bid for the whole county for gas for the following <laughs> fiscal year. Versus figuring out that, you know, in February it's its lowest, put out the bid then. <laughs> So we, we actually don't use the, uh, the FERCOG bid. Mm -hmm. We actually use what's called Wright Express. It's a state account that state police uses, mass DOT uses. They subtract all the federal and state taxes right off of it. You're issued a credit card. Every police officer has their own PIN number. They have to put the cruiser in, the mileage, their ID PIN number in, and they can fuel up anywhere in the United States. So. And like I said, it subtracts everything and it's state contracted gas prices. So when Kevin's pump was gelling up at highway a week, week and a half ago, I handed him and Zach Smith from South County EMS our cards and said, go to the BP diner. Yes. And we just program them pins. Yep, when yep. we get the bill next month, we'll separate out whatever we need to separate to South County EMS, highway departments and police. Mm -hmm. How about the motorcycle? Is that in here or no the, the motorcycles we did a two-year lease to try it and i funded it out of the police donations account the money that we get on the side from yankee candle and other people that come in uh and you know the same conversation kip and i just had in the board of selectmen is you know after year two we really got to figure out do we like it do we not like it what's the risk exposure do we see that the cost benefit out of it and where do we go it's $4,400 a year to lease it. It's $621 a year to insure it. And if we decide to purchase it outright after the two-year lease, that twenty-five dollars or $26,000 motorcycle now is $18,000. So they take off like six, dollars $7,000 out of that $4,400 you've paid for two years in a row. So $8,800, they take off six or 7000 off that bike. You could renew the lease. We may get rid of it completely. We tried it. You know, it's not the first one. Deerfield had two motorcycles. Cops used to use motorcycles in the 1970s with the Deerfield Police Department. So it was an opportunity. And as I explained to, and you know, Kip will remember this firsthand, two weeks ago to the Board of Selectmen, I was totally against this in Sturbridge. But the residents there thought the world of it. They loved seeing it on the street. It was personable, it was relatable, they enjoyed it, it was a different environment. They love seeing it on traffic enforcement. The person can hide anywhere you want on the motorcycle. You know, do we see the value in it, do we not? I'm kind of a, a flip of a coin at this point. But everything I hear is positive. I have my five people in town that go, I just don't see the need. But then I have 20, 30, 40 people that approach me every couple months that go, we like it. We enjoy seeing it out there. It's actually, it's neat. It's a change of environment. You see them parked in the center of town and people are actually walking up and talking to them. And the feedback from it has actually been 
overwhelmingly positive. I'm not, I'm not evaluating yeah, yeah, yeah. It. it's bad or good. I'm just looking at costs. Yes. And they're all, it's 100% funded through donations? Yes. Yes. So tra uh, officer training and everything? The officer training with the actual salaries I paid out of payroll for training. Yes. Yes, there's uh, four people that are trained in it, three of which we sent. Joe Michkowski is ran the motorcycle program for UMass. He's been certified forever. So Joe did not need to go. Now, is that going to be, you know, if you decide to keep that, or is that going to be weighed in against the uh, cost of a uh, replacement cruiser for the amount of time that's taken off the road? Well, I guess it depends on how much we're putting on it a year. Year one, everybody's going to put a ton of miles on it. It's the new, new toy, if you will, with anybody. And of course, you know, any administrator is going to go never refer to it as a toy. No, but let's be realistic. You give anybody a brand new cruiser, a brand new fire truck, a brand new highway truck, it's going to be on the road the most, no matter what you want to refer to it professionally as. This year, we put 8,000 miles on it. Next year, do we put more? Do we put less? I don't know. But what I can tell you is we go through about one cruiser a year. And how do we do that? Because we put on an average 140 to 160,000 miles a year. You know, unilaterally between the cars. That's two people on duty 24 hours a day is about 140 to 160,000. It's we're burning up a car a year. So, so when you uh, had the uh, officer on the uh, motorcycle, you still only have one other officer one one other officers on duty at the time yes unless it's so a special it's, it's event still, still only two yes no, no, no. unless it's a special event you, yeah, you may normal. have something going on at the con the yeah. common with yeah, a concert no, normal yes but normal. in general yeah okay yep hold on legal publications and dues you notice there's an increase Just curious about halfway down jim Decrease. I was going to say, I thought we decreased decrease, it. Excuse me. Yeah, I thought we jumped it down to about a thousand dollars. Yeah. Yeah. Don't compare. But I thought we increased actual dues, dues yeah. because we were paying more for, for actual dues yeah. and we were paying less for legal because everything's internet born now. Mm -hmm. You know, when they update the state laws, we used to maintain a whole shelf of laws in books up to date through Westlaw. Well, now everything's updated in minutes and it's all available on the state website including case law. Okay, great. There go all those legal books. No, we still mm -hmm. hold them. We keep them. But do you replace them? No. 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 They look great sitting in there. <laughs> Want to go look at them? Yeah, sure. Let's go. <laughs> Can't guarantee they're up to date. Yeah. All right. I move to... Uh, Approved uh, police department expense 210 5400 in the amount of $95,600. I'll second it. Got a motion. We've got a second. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Is that unanimous? Yes. Yep. Okay. 6 0. Uh, police capital, cruiser. Standard yearly replacement, as I said earlier. I think the, uh, the car that's due up to be replaced next year has somewhere about 110, 112,000 miles on it. I know it was at 109, but that was three or four weeks back. So I'm just estimating for you, when those cars cycle down to the part-time people from the full-time people, this last year is when they really jump in mileage because the part-time people will drive a lot. They're everywhere, they're visible, they're stopping cars, the senior full-time people are going to go out and they're going to hit their general routes. They don't put nearly the same mileage on the cars. So that car will jump up in the next year, probably 35 to 50,000 miles. By next fall, it will probably be at the 150 to 160 range when we replace it. Now, uh, within the last year, we had one of the cruisers parked down at uh, the highway department and it was used at least occasionally for details? We have one out back for okay. details now. Right. We had two Crown Vicks at Highway. Both of those were destroyed, so those are gone. The last Crown Vic that we had was our detail car, mm -hmm. is what you're referring to it as. That basically went, that's at Highway to be auctioned, and the utility out back is now the detail car. When it's auctioned, where does the uh, proceeds General go? fund. Okay. They have to legally. Yep. Okay. 
Did you turn any vehicle over to the uh, building inspector? Building inspector's vehicle was bought with medical marijuana money as part of the, uh, the MOU with them, the host agreement. They gave us a $25,000 check and that Ford Escape was purchased for the building inspector. Now is that shared with, since you have the building inspector and the health inspector, is that shared by both of them now? They'll both, I'm sure, be using it, yeah. Yeah. And they have their own gas budget? They do have their own gas budget. Okay. Anyone else have any questions? Make a motion we approve this. Second. It's moved, seconded. If there are no further questions, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Uh, abstentions? Six zero, so, zero. Six zero, zero. And then canine control. Canine control. So we got the estimates from Greenfield. We have a shared canine officer with Greenfield, Montague, and the town of Deerfield. And the original MOU or MOA, whatever it is, uh, between the three communities was Greenfield pays 50%, Deerfield pays 25, and Montague pays 25. And I know that's a bone of contention with a few people. And I know that contract with the other two towns is gonna expire in the next year or two. And certainly uh, that eyebrow has been raised as to our percentage, as well as the vehicle issue, and that needs to be negotiated in there. The vehicle I don't see as a problem at this point because you have one person and his vehicle's being plate replaced right now. So the next time that will become an issue is hopefully in six to 10 years. I think we have time to work it into that MOA. I don't think we need to petition Greenfield right now to open an MOA if there's not another replacement imminent because that vehicle should be good for six to 10 years with him. So in the next year or two when that opens up, we need to address the vehicle, but we also need to address, I think, Deerfield's 25% portion. In accordance with their collective bargaining agreement in Greenfield, these are the new numbers for that individual. And there's been a rise in health insurance. The only thing that Brenda and I added in is the regional dog shelter. And that's down bottom. It's the last $1,000 line where it says plus dog control fee. And every year I forgot to budget that and I just took it out of police expenses and finally she caught me on it this year and just added it in. And, uh, but that's actually the Sheriff's Department Regional Kennel where we hold uh, the dogs after we grab them. So, so do they charge you for that? Yeah, there's, there's a regional fee that we pay into it. And I think there's 16 communities that participate and it's like 850 or $900 a year. So when you take that amount between all those communities, it literally turns out to be in total budget for them about $20,000 to run a, a regional dog kennel. It's, it's not a lot of money for them. Yeah, and that pays for uh, vaccinations, that pays for medical work, it pays for care, up, upkeep, et cetera, dog food. Why is the uh, health benefit so high? Health benefits went up this year. I think she estimated seven or eight percent in her email to me. Fifteen point five percent. His health insurance is currently sixteen eight four eight with a seven point five percent increase. Uh, the increase is twelve hundred sixty three dollars and sixty cents. The total becomes eighteen thousand one hundred eleven dollars and sixty cents. It Do they have one on which people plan or two people on that? Huh? They have one person or two? That's one person. Could be a family plan, could be the top of the line family. I, I, I don't know. It seems, it seems a little bit high. It, it, what, where it seems high is not the amount, but the fact that uh, employees' contribution to that is probably in the 70, 75% <coughs> range. Well, Greenfield if, may contribute 75%. That's why it's higher, because well, a family medical I, I, plan. Well, no, no, no. I meant Greenfield <coughs> is 75 and and the uh, officer would be 25. So this would be 75, which would boost the plan to something in the neighborhood of, I don't know, about 24, 25,000, yeah. which seems in itself very high. high. Yeah. Can it's we, no, could no, someplace along the way, could you check that out? Yeah, I mean, you tell I, me what health plans are running. Any idea? I, Barbara's more in tune to that, but. But the 18,000 is about. We might have a, a $1,700 a month cost for, some of the employees that we have here in the town of Deerfield. 
Oh, that, and, and I don't know which plan that is. That's a 15.5% increase. Well, it's yeah, not so much the increase. It's, last it's, year's number wasn't right. The, the, the amount that we voted last year and the year before did not cover the, the dog control fee, and John had to eat that out of his budget. No, I'm take, talking about the 15674 health fee. Oh, as far as to, that goes. Uh, to what it went up this year, that's 15.5%, yeah. not 7%. Yep. What I could add to that is that what we don't know Reflect here only yeah, true. Correct. Well, that would be if it was a family plan. Yeah, if I take the 16848 for times at times 1.075, it comes up to be the 1811. It, it comes out to the 7.5 percent increase. What, what do you get for a number? I got 15674. I'm actually just going by her, uh, right? The numbers are different. Oh. Okay. Are they? Yes. Oh, right. then, okay. And her. All right. That's why. That's, okay. Yeah. Gotcha. So, yeah, Brenda may have not been privy to this email from I, I from her. Not. Okay. okay. <laughs> yep. Okay. That's fine. I could care less. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so, so it's just double double check the eighteen thousand dollars to see if that really accurately reflects what uh, the towns are paying for insurance. That's all. Well, Brenda just said that there's employees here that are at $1,700 a, a month for the town, and that right. comes out to be $20,400 yeah. a we'd year. Have, we'd have to take a look at that. Last I knew that we were in, the, in, the, in this range, 18000 total, of which the, the town share would be 70% of that. 75. 75? For Greenfield. Yeah. For, but for Deerfield. Yeah, ours would be ours would be seventy percent. I think but we have to pay the seventy five percent based upon the fact that the guy's an officer in. Oh no, 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 that was not. The, but if if we were, if this was a Deerfield employee and it was a family plan, right. and the family plan was twenty thousand dollars, then Deerfield's uh, share would be fourteen thousand, and the employee right. would pay six. So. That's 18,000 looks awfully high for, so just check it out sure. uh, sometime and Absolutely. talk with Brenda. Yeah. We don't need to, if the budget gets, ends up being reduced by a couple thousand bucks, we don't need to reconsider it, do we? Yes, we do. Yeah. Oh, we do? <laughs> just be technically correct. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Because I agree with Bruce and Bruce. <laughs> Congratulations. Bruce and company. All right. Do I have a motion? So moved. Second? No second. It's moved, seconded. All those in, f if there are no further discussion, no, no. Okay. all those in favor? Aye. 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 That's unanimous? Yes. Okay. <laughs> We're done. What else? Did I miss anything? No, but I don't know where the assessors are. Yeah, I was going to say, was John Kader supposed to show up? Yeah. Okay. Seven fifteen, but since he wasn't here, we didn't push that. Okay. It could have been that the, with the weather, he maybe chose not to come. How about if we zero out the salaries for the, the assessors? All right. Anything else? Are you guys all set? Well, set. I'm all set. All right. Thanks. Thanks, John. Thanks, John. Thank you, John. Keep up the good work. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, you guys want to talk? At least one uh, selectman here we could ask them if they could would consider a rate reduction. Uh, actually, hey Kippy. Kip. He's talking. Are you are you coming back? Yeah. Please. Okay. I think if you uh, are you done with me, if you're going to talk about salaries, I'd yeah, rather not be Yeah, if you want to go home and take, take, your, uh, take your cold with you. Yeah, thank you. Okay. <laughs> so thank you. We, uh, uh, next, thank you, Brenda. Thanks. Our next meeting is going to be the, uh, week next, from, next week. Week right? for today. It's posted. It should be posted out there. The 24th. Thank you, uh, 24, 25th, whatever, 24. Thank you, and keep up the good work. Thank you. Be the mm -hmm. Oh, you know what? No. Oh. 
Before we do that, we do have a request for a reserve fund transfer. You're right. Thank you for remembering. I didn't remember. I just happened to see it there. <laughs> uh, request is made to transfer from the reserve fund uh, $7,207.83 uh, to the vacation sick leave reserve. Uh, payment is for an employee uh, for unused vacation and sick leave. He, he's retiring. Uh, anything else we need to talk? So the, let me just pass it down. What's and the number read on that? The $7,207. No, the, uh, the account? account number. 001-910. Dash fifty eight hundred dash zero 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 dash zero nine ten fifty eight hundred. Thank you. Yeah, that's that vacation sick yeah. leave reserve. We've used it twice this year, and that um, the last one brought us negative by that much. So this all this money is not going to one person. Uh, yes, it is. Plus more. Yes. Yes. What's that? I said we, get, we need to look at this policy. And they get a 5% increase. And I'm they get a 2% increase. This is their vacation time. And they get a health plan. So, so, so they get paid the um, when, they, when they leave our employment. They right. get paid for any unused vacation. No and, I, and I believe they get paid one day of every year that they worked here for sick their leave. sick leave. But there's if no limit on vacation. Yes, there is. I, I don't is know a, what that there is. is. There is a limit on it. Okay. And I think it's I think it's two years worth. I believe it is. Yeah. So instead of well, it would be one year, but they can if they've built up two years, they can take two years. Okay. But they have to have two years vacation in order to take it. So in other words, you can accrue two years of vacation. You can no, you can really accrue only one year. One year, and then at the end of the second the year, end, one of them it, drops off. Then, it, because at the end of this year, they would have had that vacation time that they haven't used in this current year, plus one year of vacation no, time. It's only prorated for the time that you work. So if you can leave one year in, and you leave halfway through the year, you're only going to get half of that your vacation time for the year you left. You can't get a year's worth just because you showed up for two Va days. Vacation time is accrued every quarter. Every so quarter. so um, <clears throat> this last retirement happened after January 1st. So yeah. vacation would have accrued on January 1st for the last quarter. For the last quarter. Mm -hmm. but um, not for the and, and I can't tell you how many hours that was. Maybe Barbara would know that off of the top of her head. It just seems like a high number. Yeah. Okay. But I can, would, re I can remember would, some previous retirees who got a lot more, right. but oh, yeah. yes. Yeah. 50 something thousand if I remember yeah. right. Uh, I remember a $34,000 figure, but mm -hmm. yeah. Make a motion we approve that. Any other questions before? Is there a second? It's a contractual obligation. I don't think we have any. I don't think we've got a lot of right choice. thing to discuss, so I'll second it. All right, if there used to be a, a point in time when um, that vacation reserve was set at twenty-five thousand, and over the over the last two three years, we've we reduced, reduced that to down 10. to ten, with the idea that if we went over, we would take it out of the reserve oh. fund. And uh, quite frankly, I don't think anybody anticipated. Maybe we should have anticipated. Um, the the uh, the retirement happening in this fiscal year. So mm -hmm. yeah. no, I think it's I think it's fine. No, it's not uh, in any event. Uh, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? Six zero zero. Yep. Yeah. So as of December, we had three hundred fifty five dollars and six cents. December thirty first. You report for the last quarter. We had a balance of 35506, so 355 plus this seven would be what we're paying out. We paid out ninety nine thousand six hundred and forty-five dollars this year to some retirees. 
There was one employee. Two different people, right? Correct. Uh, one employee um, who left the, the police department. Um, I don't remember when that was, November. Okay. There was a payout to that person and then, uh, and then this one. All right, thank you. Mm -hmm. Skip, I don't know you got that much when you retire. <laughs> that much? I got a lot more than that. Yeah, but that was only vacation time. <laughs> oh, that's right. Let's see, what did I get, sick time? Did we get, I didn't get sick no. time. Most places do not get sick time. Well, no. Take a look at take a look at the teacher's contract. Yeah. I was gonna say I think my husband works for the Commonwealth and I think I thought when he retires I thought he gets paid some of that sick time. I, I don't I don't know how much, but county agency <coughs> gets sick time. What's that? I work for a county agency and do not get sick time paid out. And you're restricted to one year of benefits. Big vacation. <coughs> That's because the salary is so high. Sorry, so low. No raises in five years. I know. <coughs> That's usually the way counties are. Yep. Thank you, Barb. Okay. Thank you again. I'll see you next yep. week. Yep. Take that. Will I see you? See you, you Brenda. Brenda. What's that? Will I see you before you leave? If you're lucky, you won't. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Hopefully, Brenda. <laughs> Next week at this time, you'll be gone, won't you? Yeah, this is, yeah, unless they throw in another quickie meeting, huh? this is my last one. Well, I want to make sure you had an opportunity to speak your piece. You know, if he's got that, nothing else, I'd like to, uh, when he gets back, I'd like to discuss the light bar, the tilt library one based on what we have. Okay, bring it up. The We're library, the, the, uh, operating operating budget. Budget. the operating budget. The operating budget, yeah. Oh. Based on what we have at this point. Yeah. You, we could discuss it and come up with questions. Yeah. They no, because that's, what say, that, that, that's, that's the one I have the most questions on. And I like the What's the number? 610 5400. Whoa. I did the same thing. What? Whoa. No, it popped right open the exact page. Mm -hmm. uh, Almost an $8,000 increase for the director? Huh? Almost an $8,000 increase for the director? Well, she also clear, increased hours, so, yeah. But I have this questions on who approves? Increase an hour. No, well, maybe Henry could tell us. Who who does the who's the, who does the director work for? Uh, the the trustees, board of library commissioners. Right. So we have nothing to say about it. In all, in, that's true. Other than we fund the budget. Right. So I know. What yeah. you do is you tell them to take it out of all their donation accounts. Mm -hmm. They're oh. trying to run up to a million dollars in donation accounts. Take some of that money and spend it. Don't spend the town money. The budget's up 15%. Most of it is salaries and wages. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Would they, would they, uh, They're getting prepared for the new place. That, that's exactly what I said. That's exactly what I said. Setting it up. laying the groundwork for the, for the That way they addition. won't have to hire new people. They'll just all be, well, be they're all just, they're They'll just, just be walking all over each other. I don't think we can discuss it until they get here. No. Wait, uh, us, huh? I'm, I'm just asking questions. Yeah. There again, we, you know, this is just for discussion purposes. Okay. Why such salary increase? One big question. Well, Alan, it's not just a salary. I, I'm not talking about a whole bunch of other stuff. I don't see a lot of other things changes. But well, in mean, addition of over, each entitled to our own. Thank you, sir. And in addition of over 500 hours, I think so it's a pretty you. substantial mm -hmm. uh, increase, mm -hmm. especially when the. Uh, Memo was put out for. Uh, it didn't specifically prohibit it. But it says no new staff or programs. Well, what do you need 500 people, 500 hours for? Okay, so 
I just handed this out so that you got it in front if you want to refer to it or not. Yeah. Whoever wants to, you're at the end. Well, I just, I just, you know, since this, I will be here for the next few meetings, and I always going to, I'd like to bring up a couple questions that maybe when Sarah comes in that uh, she could be confronted with, and be prepared. Um, and all there again, I mean, the salaries is is one thing, but. Uh, I did a workout, and it appears that she is adding on uh, additional 571 hours of uh, help to the budget. And I think it's a very valid question. How come? So do you, how did you get that with the new people, Bruce? Uh, actually, if you go back to last year, there is a uh, line item of additional hours payroll. And that was at, uh, I believe, $13. And uh, they didn't specify assistant three and four, but it was additional hours payroll. And that came out to, uh, at, at, at uh, $13, uh, $14 an hour for this year. Six ten fifty four hundred. 5400 uh, It was $13 an hour last year. Oh, okay. But anyway, if you add up the hours for last year and uh, the hours for this year, you end up with 571 additional hours in this year's budget over last year's budget. So, Bruce, I'm going to make a, a copy of this thing and just write right on the back of it. I'll just give it to give it to Brenda and ask her to do some research on it. Okay. So let me, let me make a copy of this thing so we got it. Well, Bre Brenda had told me supposedly that Sarah says that's what they're truly doing, uh, uh, had spent on it. But then the other side of the coin is, well, if they already, if they managed with last year's budget to include that 571 uh, hours, then why are we going up $30,000? Mm -hmm. Okay. So how many hours, how much of the hours are first school year? Uh, I just okay. want to note it down. Okay, last year. Oh. What do you want? Just, just a total increase in hours. Oh, uh, 571 hours. 571. So, yeah, so if you just, just write it on the back. Which there. increases yes. the budget? Because there's 122 hours in a director, 151 in a youth programmer, uh, a two hour deduction in the circulation head, six hour increase for assistant one, 87 hours in assistant two, uh, the aid is even, and the other two assistants uh, are a total of uh, 207 hours more. And that was with a memo put out for level services. And they were advertising for an aid a um, month or so ago. For what? They were advertising for a position about a month ago? Oh, I don't know. I, I think it was a Sadie's, person who works Sadie's. I thought it was the aide. Well, I, there again, I, I don't know. I'm just I'm sure if going by what's in yep. this budget and what, what last year's, <clears throat> uh, the hours like, that were in there last year. It wasn't a new position, I don't think. So. No, it's uh, If somebody can see something I'm not seeing, I'd be glad. No, to. I, I I I agree with you. And it looks like if you increase the wages, the state requires you to increase books, audio, video, etc. What? What's that? If you increase the salary, it looks like the state requires you to increase the next line, next line item. The books. With books, so that's Audio going up forty-seven hundred dollars. Well, that evidently that has something to do with the state. Requirement. I understand, but I think it's state based on employees. Maybe it's based on. Well, employees. that I don't know. I, I the question don't know. is, what is it based on? It has some basis to the budget. I'm so, not sure what. All I know is, uh, you know, that that that's a major question as far as I'm concerned. Is uh, you know, 571 hours is just kind of off the charts. Hmm. What is it a percentage of what it was? Do you know? Do you have it handy? Don't no, you don't? It's mm -hmm. if you have it handy. 
Well, let's see. I can... That's right. Never mind. I thought I might have it right in front of you. That's yeah, okay, Bruce. Okay, it was it would have before it was fifty uh, six thousand. Now it is sixty five hundred, a little over sixty five hundred. About eight <coughs> percent. Hmm? About an eight percent increase. Now it's Okay, last year was 5,976. And this year is 6,547 hours. So what one are we, what? This is the Tilton Library, 610-5400. Which, uh, what line item are you looking at? Well, so every one of them. Direct, director is 2,080 this year. Last year was 1958. Okay. Um, youth programmer la uh, this year is 1456. Last year was 1305. Uh, circulation head is uh, last year was 988. Uh, uh, this year is 988. Yep. Last year was 990. Bruce, did you get the letter from Tilton with the budget? What's that? Did you get the letter? Yes, yeah, and it said a few hours of increase. I understood. What yeah. letter? In the back. In the December back. December 27, December 22nd, 2017, it was attached with the budget. It explains the salary increases. Yeah, I've got it someplace. Heating and all that stuff. And that's in the back. Um, that's in the back. Yeah. Okay. Under item 11, 12. So there's a couple of mentions of a couple increases of hours, and I that's know. it. I and know. that's I it. I realize that. That's okay. That's why. I'm and as I started, to, okay, the uh, assistant one was uh, is now 6:30, was 6:24, which is no big deal. Assistant two was 5 uh, 4:35 last year. It's 5:22 this year. Uh, the next two <coughs> were lumped together last year, and. Uh, I don't have that one separated out. Uh, the aid has stayed the same. Uh, well, okay, the, two, the three and four were lumped together last year and it was 456. This year it's Heating oil, I don't know whether she's kind of dropped that a little bit too much. I don't know. Can they, are they saving that much on the heating oil? We might be using the heat pumps in the spring and the fall. Reverse oh, them. that's right. I forgot that they had the heat pumps now. Mm -hmm. Yes. Good point. Thank you. But the electric stayed the same. The electric should have gone up. Yeah, it should, a little bit. Unless, yeah, I know. Are the real numbers or not? <laughs> okay. Bruce, what did you have for numbers for the director? Funds required to maintain level service. What did you have for director's hours? 19. <coughs> last year, from, uh, last year was 1958. And can you do me a favor and just read down? The next one was 1305, then 990. 990, 624, 435, and then three and four were lumped together last year. And that was uh, 456 total. Yes. And this year, if you lump the two of them together, 663. <clears throat> and the aid last year was also 208.
Could you give me the first two numbers again? For this last year? Yeah. Director is 1,958. And 1,305. What's that? The next number was 1,305. You, you, you yes, we have 1,305. I would point out one thing just so you see it down there, and I'm not sure what it, it does have additional hours payroll for last year of 5,824 Right, hours. and that is, that is the lump, that is three and four lumped together. Okay. Be because three and four, it doesn't list assistant three and four on last year's. Okay. Right. Okay, so that would be the assistant three and four that okay. are lumped together, and that's why the hours are lumped together. Okay. So that's 456 hours. Right. Okay. So I'm not sure when we're going to talk to the library. Uh, uh, they were given a mission of a level services budget. This does not look like level services. Have you guys talked to the library yet? No. I just want to brought up because I might, they may not be here. That's all. You know, so I think. What? When? I thought you said you were flying back for that one. Yeah. Yeah. No, uh, I won't be back till March 6th. When are you leaving? Next Tuesday. So you're not going to be here for next week? No. No, he won't be. No. He won't be. You won't be too? I will be. Oh, you will be. Okay. Anything else? Mm. Getting late, and I would like to talk about the salaries, or yeah, one other thing. Or give you guys a chance. It's uh, 422, 5400. 422, 5400. Okay. Uh, general highway expense, clothing allowance, 5400 dollars. Now, I don't have an issue if the town wants to vote for that, but the town has never approved that as an expense. That was given as a benefit by the last uh, highway director. It has never been approved by the town. If the town wants to accept the state MGL, that's fine, great, I don't care. But um, I don't think, it, you know, and if it's pulled out of the budget and put it as a line item for a vote, that's fine too. Okay, I'm not going to oppose it. But I think the town should know that we are paying for something that was never brought before the town. It was given as a benefit by the highway director. And to add to that, I, I believe reading those general laws, it says that the town needs to accept that section of the Well, that's state exactly law what I'm talking about. To allow that to even happen. And it's that's never a, happened. It's never happened. That's exactly what I'm talking right. about. Chapter 40, section 6J, and chapter 40, section 6L. One is for leasing, and it says, uh, uh, for lease or rental of stormy weather work clothes, including rubber boots. It does not mean an allowance for uh, steel-toed work shoes or anything else. Well, and then and so the other one is to purchase for the town. And both sections have to be approved by the town. So, uh, and like I said, I don't have an issue. If the people vote for it, so be it. I don't care. But I think it needs to be known okay. and accepted. And if that was accepted, I think that it should be... Uh, for the purpose of wearing or buying identifiable clothes like sweatshirts or T-shirts or jackets to say, you know, Highway Department, Town of Deerfield, whatever, not just general clothes. And it was brought to my attention at the select board that, well, it was just, you know, because sometimes they might get dirty or it's a safety issue and stuff like that. But in fact, in looking at it, uh, <clears throat> some employees are buying uh, long johns from eBay silk stockings from um, Amazon, elastic waistband, jeans, and they're just handwriting out, oh, please charge or reimburse for my clothing allowance and send a check directly to me, and it's been happening. So I don't know how that money is split up between all the employees, but these are some of the things that I've been seeing, how that money's being spent. Well, it's also, it's also an equity situation because if you look, and there again, from what I heard of uh, uh, the uh, um, uh, select board meeting, uh, when they had uh, Kevin here, it was a uh, $200 allowance for boats. Well, if you go to the wastewater treatment plant, uh, those people only allowed $525 for their total clothing allowance. And they got three full-time people there, much less the uniforms. 
So, you know, something's not adding up very well. Like, you know, so it's, uh, you know, and, and, and you have people in our inspections department, they're out on construction jobs and so forth. Uh, why should they not be entitled to uh, stormy weather gear? I mean, you know, it's, it's, you know, it goes on and on. It's, uh, you know, there again, if the people in town want to vote for it, so be it. But, you know, pull it out as a line item and present it as an article. <coughs> Be it, that, and that was the two biggest ones that I had an issue with. So I would appreciate if and when the time comes up that uh, you know the questions are asked. Thank you. Okay, can we talk about the spend maybe fifteen or twenty minutes talking about the salary? Yeah, I have a question. Minutes, before, good luck. Well, before, before we get started, can I ask about, before we end the schedule, longevity um, payments? Why are some longevity payments prorated? Because you're a pro, because you're short period of time, for, they're not full time people. Is that what it is? Yeah. 47.5%, 30%. Twenty-five percent, and I'm not sure. I'm not sure the longevity was meant for part-time people. I mean, that's I'm looking at Tilton Library. I think it is part-time people. It, well, it is, and that's why I'm not sure whether the long, again I haven't got it in front of me, but I'm not sure whether the longevity was supposedly for part-time people. I thought it was, you know, guessing full-time people. Yeah, I, but that's, I'm not that's sure. the only time I've seen longevity <clears> is <throat> when it's full-time employment. That's why I was confused when I looked at the library's budget. Yeah. It's prorated. Library is what, 6, 6 10, 10, 5,400. And, and it's not just there, it's in other. Yeah. Yes, it is other places. Other yes. places. Longevity is prorated, and I'm not sure why it is and whether it should be or not. Okay. That was my concern. I don't know whether it ever really got spelled out or whether it just said, you know. But that's a good question. Before you guys get too deep into this compensation thing, I'd like a little clarity. If I'm not mistaken, earlier I believe I understood uh, your board to say <clears throat> some of these uh, line items to do with salary and stuff were because um, there hasn't been a dec decision from the select board whether to give a step and a cola or any combination thereof yet. So you were basically saying you were going to wait until the select board made the decision on that determination and adjust the um, budget accordingly. Is that correct? That's what people vote. Uh, yes. Okay. No, yeah. only part, the, the decision is, I understood it from talking with Carolyn, mm -hmm. was that for budgeting purposes, mm -hmm. uh, and I think this was given to Brenda, we're to use this salary schedule, which is the one that we have been using. <coughs> and the, <coughs> when the adjustments, if, if and when an adjustment is made, or if and when the selectmen and the personnel committee arrive at some sort of an agreement, at that point in time, then the salaries will be adjusted. And as I understand it, they will be adjusted downward. They would not be, we would not anticipate any other increase. They would not be, or there would be no increase. Correct. So that basically, the, the, the question was really the COLA. Right. The reason I ask that question is because in, in the past, and I've only had one year pass to go by, is that um, I've been faced with the finance committee approved it this way, so that's what we should go by. And, and I, it just didn't rest very easy with me. So I wanted to make it perfectly clear from my point of view that if the select board does decide to go down, it's not we're going against the finance committee's recommendations. Okay. Uh, it, it might not be, but person. if that's not, I mean, we might make a recommendation that, sure. that's different from this, or we might re recommend this at some point in time, and I'm not sure who it is, but I, I suspect it's a selectman. I'd rather have the personnel committee make the decision to put this. This goes on the town meeting warrant and is voted on the town meeting warrant. It was approved last year. It was approved last year, and it will, should be, something should be approved this year. <clears throat> Whatever that is, at that point in time, or before, 
you know, the, the budget should be adjusted so that they would okay. reflect whatever the. All right. I, I just wanted to yeah. understand. But that doesn't have anything to do with the increases, though. Right. right. That's approving the comp schedule because we had Correct. a 2 percent coal increase. Right. Correct. That's what you're asking sure. the town people to vote on. So the, the numbers, once the select board worked this out, these numbers on this page would change. They may they, change. They may change yes. in that that's what the town would vote. If you reduce the coal. Correct. That's all you <clears throat> Or the step or whatever it well, may be. Well, no. No. This has... Nothing to do whether somebody gets a step or not. That's the decision. Is this the same schedule for in the past? If you want to prorate. Was no, this last year? If you took a look, Ten years becomes 15. Mm -hmm. last year's mm -hmm. FY18, the current yeah. year, it started instead of 1326, it started at $13. Right. The 1326 is a 2% yeah. yeah. coal. Yeah. Okay, so, you, so this, the numbers on here, Reflect the current step and grade with a two percent coal. Correct. Okay. I do know that most of the budgets that we've seen, you know, the the, the department has added both yes. together. I'm not sure why. Somehow they got the impression from somebody. Somebody that uh, yeah. that was that the way to go what about it. Supposed to do. Is that a personnel committee? No. Don't think so. No. Don't forget, Santa Claus is only fictitious, <clears throat> and you can't afford to run a town by playing Santa Claus. I understand that. I'm sure you do. No question, you do. I know you do. Do you have any idea when that decision is going to be made? Um, I tried to. Uh, or should the finance committee go in there and get their two cents worth? You're always more than welcome. Two, two, uh, two percent worth. Sorry, it's a joke. <laughs> um, I, I, I tried to uh, engage the dialogue at our last meeting, and um, it was put off till our next meeting. Hopefully it will be uh, determined at our next meeting next Wednesday. So somebody else has said, that you go by this schedule, which is a 2%, mm -hmm. and then add another 2% to it. No, no, no. no. That I did not hear that. End. But the only thing, the only upside of to this that I heard was a, a great, a, a step and a 2% COLA. A step is a 2% increase and a 2% COLA. No. I think no. the step was step greater. Was yeah, a step is greater than a 2%. Yes. Yeah. So some of these are coming out upwards of 8% rates. Right. Yeah, and what I personally don't like, and, and I don't think that it's, it's a good way to run a town, or definitely not a business, is, is it was uh, described to me as, well, that's what they expect. I, I just, nah, that's no, that's I, don't, I don't like that. It's not, uh, you know, I mean, uh, it's, just, it's just not a good way of doing it. You know, there again, the police department, most all, most all of them are around 2.5%. The uh, uh, Greenfield police officer, his, his is coming in at two percent. Yeah, you know, and those are unionized people. That's right. Yeah, two percent. Period. Yeah, I, so, I, I I understand. So what do the teachers maybe? Come in? Uh, huh? What do the teachers come in at? Well, that's that's their own union. I mean, that's a union they, too. They, they've got the steps, but there again, the police department got the steps too. And uh, the step uh, is the two percent. That's what they agreed to in the last. When I understood what John said was that the two percent or two and a half, whatever it works out, was their step. They're, they reduced that his, in, his increase. 60, be, 60 cents was their step. So that was their increase in this last collective bargaining agreement. Yeah. They uh, do receive steps, and they, and they said it was 60 cents a step. They reduced it from a num some of the number. I don't know what that is. Yeah. So my concern here is that I'm not sure is the personnel committee prepares the compensation schedule and makes a recommendation to the select board for acceptance or for the select board to put it on town meeting floor. I'm not sure what the process is. 
Well, as I understand it, the, the we can you've got the bylaws someplace. I don't know if you got them here or not, but the it's, personnel committee makes a recommendation to the board of select to the board of select board. Select board either accepts or rejects board it, board modifies it, whatever. It, yeah. Sends it to or sends they can it to put us. In their own number. Sends it to us, and we pre and we present the uh, a budget to the town meeting floor. But this would be on this would be on the town meeting floor, and you know we would then, as a committee, either vote to you know, tell a, tell the town that we uh, agree with it or disagree with it. That's what. That's well, what, what we're agreeing to is, is that there's a two percent color increase for FY19. That's all we're agreeing to with this piece of paper. No. Yes. Wouldn't you be agreeing to the new salary step increases plus the two percent? Yeah. Then, then How does somebody get a step increase? Then you're going it's against honest. everything that we've done for the yeah. past. Right. Well, 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 this, is, this, is, this includes well, the steps. No. This, oh, I understand this, but that doesn't guarantee somebody's step one goes a step two. It this always it, it has. Nobody has ever not gone from step That's one to right. step two to step three to step four. Yeah. Every I haven't seen one person. That wasn't. We threatened one person once that we weren't going to give him a step increase, and a guy brought a lawyer in, and we turned around. The guy cried and says, "Oh, I'm only making twenty something thousand dollars a year," and after I informed the lawyer that the guy was making thirty something thousand plus his overtime on top of that, and he found out he was making over forty thousand dollars a year, all of a sudden the lawyer backed down. But he got a step. So but step. We, Steps We're not have been, going to give him a step because of the lousy job he did, huh? and everybody knew it. Those steps have been an automatic increase. They have, they've been an automatic increase. Okay. And they can turn so, around and say, oh, but you can't give a step, or you have to give a step, and you have to do a report on it. Right. Evaluation. Right. That's the, a farce. The, well, the personnel, the personnel committee, as I understand it, is in the process of, of looking at having department heads requiring department heads to do some sort of a formal evaluation. It would, you we know, the last time. We talked about that eight, ten years ago. Where, well, where are the evaluation not, tools? It still is not done. Right. Where are the evaluation tools? What criteria That's are they right. using for That's evaluation? <laughs> what training is the evaluation? And plus, in a small town, do you really think that's going to happen? And do you think oh, they're going to I'm not, say, I'm I not opposed to raises because I mean, everybody, if they're doing their job and they're working hard and they're going the extra mile, everybody deserves to have raises. Right. I'm I not opposed to raises that. as if far they, as. I'm not either, but let's be realistic about it. This but year as they did let's not turn year, around and say, oh, well, they get we're going to tie this to a thing. And if they don't do their job, we won't give them a raise. I haven't seen one. In my 18 years, that we didn't give somebody an increase every exactly. year. Exactly. Every year. So, what's so Did that, somebody get a raise if they're doing mean? the same thing this year that, that, that they did last year? Yes. Same exact thing. Yes. So they should that, get a raise. That, that Just because they're here a year longer. Is that what we want to do? They haven't, they're not doing anything that, more. Well, nothing better. Is that what better. we want to continue? That's that's, the well, that's what the we The problem is that no. that's the personnel committee who has to set that policy that's, and give it to the selectmen. Thank you. It's not our problem to turn around and come up and say, Understood. no, we don't want this to happen. We're not the selectmen. Okay, so they are in the process of establishing a policy. Well, I don't know. They've had a policy for years, and they said that everybody's supposed to be rated. Right, okay, so. And we just asked the. Uh, That's why I asked. The senior center director, have you been rated yet? No, but I think it's going to be done next week. <laughs> Understood. No, it's okay. That's a good answer. It was supposed to have been done last year and a year before and a year before. Well, year we didn't ask that. if it was done last no, year. That's true. We, we, we didn't. should have asked. Uh, has she been? Has she? The question was: she, Has she done her two employees? No. And her answer was yes, she has. No, she said no. I but she's she doing yes. But she's doing it this coming week. She's doing it coming up. And then we asked if she was done. She and says, up, "Oh, yeah. well, they did it with me before." Well, is she going to be, the question is, though, is she going to be using the same evaluation tool as the well, highway department or the exactly administrator? It. You know, if everybody's That's going to use work. their own evaluation instrument, then your evaluation, the credibility yeah. is down the tube. Yeah, so there's, there's no credibility to it. No. Th that was the excuse for me on that for years. Oh, well, I was evaluated and I was recommended to get a $5,000 increase, so give me my $5,000 increase. 
doesn't agree with our pay chart, but give me my $5,000 increase. Is, is there an evaluation to, um, process in town? As I understand it, there is. So Has anyone ever of, used it? There's a piece of paper that says so. this is what you evaluate your department heads? I believe there is. And, and there are two different ones that right. I've seen out there. Okay. One of them is user unfriendly and one is user friendly. When it was and when I was on a personnel board, we recommended the user friendly one. When they first started back when Don Jacobs came in the first time around, was when I was on the board and they, as assessors. They came out with a form, and the policy was going to be it was a checkoff form. It was on, you know, I think it was three or four categories, but it was to have been done twice a year. Once in December, I believe it no, November or December, to give them a heads up of what's coming down the pipe. wrong so that they could so they their so they could improve themselves by the uh, the next. Uh, that fiscal year, right? Yeah. So it wasn't at the end of the year you turn around mm -hmm. and say that. Right. They gave them a heads up that hey, look at <clears throat> you're you're doing great, keep it up, you know. Or hey, look at you know you've been slacking off. I know you have cap more capable of doing this. Uh, it, you know you're going to get stuck in a rut, and if you don't, you know, perk up. And that was basically what that th form said. Never ever got used. I nope. think we filled out filled it out for Karen, and I don't think. Uh, I, maybe John might have filled it out. I think there was a, a two or three of them that filled it out, but uh, it never went across the board. Did you ever see them? Because they were supposed to go to the select board. And it, it just kind of dropped. And then they turn around a couple, few years later, and I believe they hired John Jacobs again to redo the compensation plan. And I think that got dropped again. Back, I think that was two or three years ago. So it's just like the sewer plant. We just keep hiring people to make these uh, assessments. So. Oh, we do that? <laughs> <laughs> so, I just want to make sure I understand. The personnel committee has made a recommendation to the selectmen for the 2% COLA. I don't know if they do no. or not. The, the recommendation from them was one grade step, or I can't use the two together, one, one step, step plus a 2%. Plus 2%. So they plus did 2%. Rec That's what they recommended. The personnel so board, okay. the personnel so board did. So it's this plus 2%. No, no, it's this has the two percent. This has a two percent. No, 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 confusing it. That's not what he said. No. He just said very clearly yeah. that they recommended a step increase, yeah. which is two percent, no. and a two percent no. cola no. increase. No. This is five percent, two percent. If you do the math, John, if you take this one, I just did it. One step from step one to step two is a five percent increase. Right, that's in the what pay. I argued last year. Yeah, and last year we said that we would accept that for one year, and they were going to redo it this year. Right. Exactly. They did. They did. They added a two percent cola. They, they added two percent to, to that. Numbers. They redid and, it. And <laughs> and I don't know how. I don't know how to fix this yet, but I'm, I've been working real hard. I read and I totally understand what the personnel board said. What the, what the paper physically said to the board of selectmen. I spoke to three members, four members of that board, not including my wife, and they all said they didn't agree with what they wrote and they felt <laughs> pressure to do it. No. Yes. Did, I, I think I was probably at the meeting. Did I pressure them that much? <laughs> well, you know, there, there's something wrong with that. If, if, if they're admitting they were pressured, then that's, you know, that's, that's well, wrong. But, that's but, but it, it's... It, where it comes, I think where it comes from is that they're, they're volunteer people trying to do the best they can, and they get input from this side of town hall, from this side of town hall, and from this side of town hall. Oh, I agree with you, Henry. And I they're like, ah, you know, and they don't want to look like the bad people. Then they're hit by, well, they get it every year, and now that's more pressure on them as to, well, you know, and... Um, and, and they have a lot of good discussions. I mean, none of them, like myself, and I know, I'm sure no one on this board, wants our employees not to be compensated well. But it, the reality is almost all of them make it, at least close to double of minimum wage. And I know a lot of these people, they own homes, they drive new vehicles, their kids go off to college. It isn't like they're living under a bridge somewhere. Yeah, you could have to, have to uh, to uh, what, 
insurance paid. They got a yeah. great health plan. A they do. Health There's a lot of get a health plan yeah. like this anywhere else. Yeah. And and if you think about it, I mean, it is a good benefit thing. I mean, I I, I myself all my life I've never had benefits like this. I mean, yeah. even if they get two weeks, you know, vacation. And with all the holidays, they're basically getting a whole month off with pay on top of it. And you know, I'm not saying that that's any different than the entire working world. I'm just saying that we shouldn't feel guilty about you know our employees being at the bottom. You know, we it, we take care of our employees. You know, take you know, and compare the town employees here compared to every other town around us. Mm -hmm. They all get paid better here in the town of Deerfield than they do in Sunderland, Whiteley, yep. Conway, and Greenfield. That's true. It's and true. And we were, we were paying a police department better than the union employees were getting for the police department in Greenfield That's at the true. time. That's true. And I pointed that out to the select board, and they said, but they're not getting enough money. I said, what do you think I just told you? They're getting paid more than anybody else. Why are they not getting enough money? Well, because they're not getting enough money. And, and I think that... As a selectman, I feel a, a, a great responsibility to the aging population of this community and the people that are looking that, you know, we're only going to be making My so much said, money. Thank you. But it, it's the truth. I mean, the, this, the numbers are there. What do we got? 33% Deerfield, now over 65? Deerfield's population is growing. Uh, the, the aging population Age, is oh, growing. The aging, yeah. the aging population yeah. is growing. <clears throat> and that, you know, <clears throat> Even though some of us are still making money, we're going to get to that point where that income is basically going to stop, and that you're going to get social security. You mean, you mean, you're, yeah. you mean you're going to stop for working? One year, one tenth of one percent for one year, I, and then two percent. I already know, and I've checked it out. My social security will not pay for my property taxes. Right. That's it. Well, you know, oh, it's well, only, I don't mind. Don't mind you know, but, but you know, there's a good, there's a good example. You want to bring that, that up? up. We got a two percent raise this year. <laughs> yep. So two percent so, is backed into the cost of the insurance so, raising up. Sure. Zero. So, so which yeah. took home. So Kippy, yes. let me ask you a question. Yes. I know that. Huh? I, I don't. Uh -huh. It seems to me that Social Security is capped at about twenty five hundred dollars a month for the top. Yeah, so uh, somewhere around there. I don't, and I, I assume no. you get. Yeah, there, there well, you mean do we pay in? No, no, no. no, no, no. What, that's no, what you get. get the max, if you work at the maximum your whole life, the no, max no, you'd ever get because I get more than that. Okay, so could I say three thousand? You can say more. Okay, well, let's say did three thousand. Did you quit at sixty-five? No, I worked till I was seven. Yes, oh, well, that's why. So, because you so, get an eight percent. No, no, I'm sorry. Every year for sixty-six. Four years. It doesn't make any difference. So let's say three thousand dollars a month. So that's. Thirty-six thousand dollars a year. No, you'll never get that. At most, yeah. and most people get $12, 13 dollars fourteen hundred dollars. Do me a favor, quiet. So <laughs> let, let me let me beat up on Kip. <laughs> no. So thirty-six thousand. I'll respect 000. you this time. Thirty-six thousand dollars, and your taxes are more than thirty-six thousand dollars. So so let me say this. I don't feel sorry for you. If you're paying more than thirty-six thousand dollars, that's your that's your problem. My, my taxes are not thirty-six thousand dollars. <laughs> they're more than no, they're not. Well, you yeah, just but I a also lot of not, people. There's a lot of people am, on Social Security that are getting twelve, thirteen, fourteen hundred dollars. The average a month. for Social Security is eleven hundred dollars yeah, a year. Yes. And the average, yes. right? So if you have the average at eleven. You got to have people with seven, eight, nine hundred. I know some of the people making the eight hundred dollars a year, and that's with the extra bonus from uh, Social Security. I can guarantee you, there's a lot of people in this town that make a lot less than that. I know. Well, I. A no. lot, well, you would know that because less. being an assessor. That's right. A lot less. Mm -hmm. So I mean. So I, I was, you, and you there are the tax, So I had to be. Right. No, no, that's oh, that's oh, fair. Oh, but but the thing is, is it's true. I know that I'm not going to collect anywhere near $3,000. And, you know, I'll be all right because I save for it. But a lot of people haven't been in that position. And I've, I talk with a lot of people that are really concerned about this. 63. Jesus. He's really good. I didn't think you were that old. <laughs> <laughs> How about you? Could be probably what's, the turn, what's the turn, the employee turn over the town? Not contractual, yeah. not police, not... And not to be zero. You know, the highway department, the office people. Yeah. You get one person a year, maybe two at the most. So that's telling me that they're pretty happy. They're happy here. With a yeah. compensation yeah. package. Sure. The whole thing. They are. 
They are. So I, why I believe do we make, need to spend more to make it better because well, we think they're unhappy I, if they're not leaving? I know four people that used to work for outside businesses and had been there for some time that quit those jobs to come work for the town because the pay was higher, the benefits were higher, and they didn't have to work weekends. And the, and the retirement is great. The retirement, yeah. So ev all around, you know. But that, but that holds true yeah. through yeah. the whole industry. The, you and I grew up in the same industry. Sure. Oh, that's well, right. that's anybody that had half a brain got out of that industry in their 50s and went to work for in an institution for that reason. Don't right. get any older. It's stable work. Right. It's comfortable work. Yes. You're, not, you're not overworked. Right. So great benefits. I, I, do, I would like to ask you guys a question. Sure. And I don't care. Just yep. take, take a look at this schedule here. And... I don't care which one of these positions in here you pick. Look at the top salary, it's step 10 salary. So let's take grade three administrative assistants since we, and, and we have several of those, so we're not putting any names to it. Top salary, 27.85 an hour. Give or, give or take, that's about uh, 60,000 bucks a year. No. 30 times 40, 1,200 times 50, 12, it's about $60,000 a year. It's 57, 928. Okay. Do you think a person doing that job is overpaid? Yes. At $60,000 a year or 57, whatever yes, it is. Compared to everybody else around here, know. yes. Yes. Compared to every other town okay. around here. Okay, yes. Everybody else? Yes. I don't know. Yes. So, so then my argument would be the top step is out of whack. It should be lower. And if you lowered the top step and kept the distribution, we would, the distribution, we would reduce the salaries of the other steps. <clears throat> Don't ask me how you do that. but uh, And I think, I guess that's where we should be concentrating our effort is Forget the 5% raises. Yeah, it's a 5% raise. Actually, you got a calculator, right? Mm -hmm. So John let's, let's take somebody, let's take step one and, and, and grade one. The, the percentages, so that person was making $13 an hour. He's making $13 an hour this year. They're going to go to $13.99 next year. What's the percentage 5%. increase? No, should, should, uh, figure it out. It's over six. Five it's over seven. It's oh, over it's seven. Oh, 13 or 13, 26? 13, 13. It's no, five and a half percent. 13 to 13. You guys got to go back to school. It was going to $13 last year, but was going to $13.99 this year. No, they're $13. They're $13, dollars, they're 13 no, $13 this year. They're going to go to $13.99 next year. Okay. They're going to go up to 99. They're going to go up 99 cents. Yep. What's the raise? Well, I don't see which was. I don't see the thirteen dollars. It was thirteen ninety nine last year. Thirteen dollars. But they were step one last year at thirteen dollars. The thirteen twenty six. It's, right. it's almost eight percent. Right. It's almost eight percent. Right. And if you did the same thing from step nine to step ten, it would be something in the neighborhood of about six percent. Yeah. So that's the that's the salary increases. Is there any any one of these top steps that you think are are reasonable pays? You know, step uh, grade four, thirty-two bucks an hour. That's sixty-five thousand bucks. And we, uh, we don't have a reference to each of these positions. Whether the top pay should be eighty thousand dollars a year, whether a contracted employee should make a hundred thousand dollars a year. I think the question comes down to is is somewhere between five and seven percent, roughly here. Sustainable year after year I'm, after well, year. I'm, I'm telling you, I'm telling you that stop looking at the percentages because you're losing track of the cost. The cost is based on this is in this top step. Ultimately, everyone in here is going to stay here for ten years, and they're going to be a top step. I understand that, but this problem yeah. is, <clears throat> and I agree with you. We shouldn't be looking so much at the percentage. We have to though because we are limited with a proposition two and a half that mm -hmm. is based on percentage. And we can't ignore that. But you're ignoring it for the for the school department. We have no choice. Well, 
Well, but it's the same. But my point in, with the but school. But why do you think the schools are getting themselves in trouble? Right. Are they? Because they're getting. Well, oh, yeah. they're going to have to keep coming to taxpayers and asking for more and more and more. And eventually, tax people are going to say, no. Well, what what happened? The elementary school has been basically at 3% for the last several years. And they've been giving out these gigantic raises, according to you. And they've managed to do Not it. Not according but to But Skip, me. what have you been. Okay. Skip, what happens when the school comes and they got this thing and you just say no? Right. Their so, only so recourse so. is to go to town meeting floor and whatever the number is, the town says we'll give you a million dollars, they say they need one and a half million dollars, they have to then stand up and argue their point. They can't amend it up, they, have, they only can amend it down. They, they came in asking for a million and a half, they can if they amend can, it. They can go up to that point. They can go up right. to that point. Okay, but if, but if the town, if the select board recommends they only get a million dollars. Doesn't care what you recommended to the finance the committee. It's with the voters. The voter, the voters I have the last say. Voters right. have the last say. The voters can now, take the I, requested amount you, and vote that or anything lower than that. Well, let me ask you something. You just said something that was kind of interesting to me. If the select board says it's only a million dollars, you said it doesn't matter what I say. It matters what the finance committee says. The recommended amount is what the All finance committee says. All right, but is, isn't it, and why I'm mistaken, is the finance committee makes a recommendation to the board of selectmen. The board of selectmen make the number. No. 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 Really? Yeah. We, the Finance Committee is the one that presents the budget to the town, not you. Okay. The select Board makes a recommendation to and us. Why? We review it. We make a final recommendation right. to the town. The why, is it call, why is it the Selectman's budget then? It's, why it's not, not the Selectman's not. budget. Just, look, not. just read state law. It's a finance Ken Carolyn budget. and the, well, okay. now John said Fine. five years ago it was a Selectman's budget, but he's changed his mind. <laughs> <laughs> Right, you notice that, huh? <laughs> so, well. so. Oh, this, is, this, is, this is the argument we don't want to get into. No, this I, is I, a no win argument. No, I think the, it, the issue was that in 10 years, I think this compensation schedule will start over again. Well, how do we, how do we get exactly, it every five years? Exactly what that. happened to you last year. Yes. It ran, they ran out of space. Everybody was so they can just add another another five percent. Let's just go back and add, start use a, a number part, and work our way back up again. But part of what you're missing is you've got you've got you, you know you're you're fighting for this step and so forth for the town employees. The, the teachers are by contract. Right. Well, what happens when the PD looks at theirs and they got their measly two and a half percent when their contract comes out? Exactly. They're going to say, "What did we do last time? We took it up the pipe, yeah. and you know what? We're going after six and seven percent this year." Right. And would I blame them? Nope. By no means would I blame them. Because you turn around and you're given anywhere from uh, 5 to 8%, you know, when you add on the COLA. And the uh, PD, right, this year on the average is around 2.5%, two, two every one of them, right. except for John. We, we can make this, we can make this a, a 2%. Well, that's what, we, that's what I argued last year. It should be no higher two than 2.5. So, that's so, right. so let me give you an example of the way you make it 2%. Let me, let me take this first one here. Step 10, $19.89. Let me just change that to 20 bucks. Why so high? Make well, it 15? Well, it's because it's sitting there now, 20. And I make step 9, $19.60. I make step 8, $19.60. And twenty cents. Give them a forty cent raise. Forty cent raise, and I do that all across. That's, the that's how it was in the past. That's and if right. I do that, then step one, instead of being thirteen dollars and twenty six cents, is going to be higher. Is going to be about seventeen dollars. Right. And you you find that acceptable? I don't. No, like, I no, should no, not no, no, find it acceptable. I don't find no, acceptable. I don't because find you're, acceptable. you're I don't want to work from the top number. You're, 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 you're saying you're saying that uh, you know if you do that, then the job at the bottom becomes worth seventeen dollars. Right, that's the crazy. job at the bottom is no. still worth thirteen dollars. Yeah. Okay, right. that hasn't changed. You're, you're, well, wrong. you're assu you're assuming that it's worth thirteen that it's that it's not worth more than thirteen bucks. And you're assuming it's worth more than thirteen. And, and I and I'm assuming that the only reason that somebody is willing to come in here and take the job for thirteen dollars that they look at it and say, if I stay here for twenty years, I'm going to be making twenty bucks plus whatever the cost of living Ten raises. Years. 10 years. Plus 2% a year. Well, 
plus the cost of living, whatever it is. Right. So, so the question is, years, that's, that's also just, you th that's about two thirds of it because you also have to consider the, the benefit yeah, factor. Yeah, the you know, that's what I was going to say. Insurance and the insurance yeah. The health yeah. insurance and the retirement. That's 40 to 50%. Yep. You add that in and that changes that, that changes that bottom line it's real huge. quick. A lot of it people. does, makes it 20 bucks an hour. Mm -hmm. and, and that's what was my reason for making the comment before about the four individuals that I know. You know, they left the private sector to come work for the town, more money, better benefits, and they don't have to work on weekends unless there's a natural unless disaster. There's a storm and then they go out and they make double. And I just so you know that the select board is really on top of natural disasters. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, good. I'm glad you're on top of I something. I know a little bit of sarcasm there. Excuse me? Well, but that was enthusiasm, John. I'm sorry if I misled you. I'm sorry if I misled you. That's the pro word now. And, enthusiasm. And Kippy. Yes. Natural disasters and mosquitoes, right? No, maybe well, those too. <laughs> that is a natural disaster. That, that could that could potentially be devastating to our community. Mosquitoes. Mosquitoes. That could be a disaster. It, it could be. I think he spent too much time on the board slot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we, we oh. Okay. Well, I, I think the personnel committee needs to review what they did and, and come back with new compensation schedule. I agree. Really. <laughs> no, I really do. Easier think, said than done. I think that what they did last year was outrageous. It was. When they moved from a, 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 dollar, a, a, a dollar amount to a percentage, it just blew this whole thing apart. I couldn't agree with you more, Bruce. You're 100% right. I don't know why they continue to do it. For, what do you mean by I'd that? If you give everybody 40 cents a raise, if you want to give everybody a raise every year, give them 40 cents. What we did was we found that the people at the top were making no much. cost of living. So what you did was you take. That is your cost of living. 40%. Your 2% for the whole thing, including the top to the bottom, and then take it and divide it by the number of employees and give them a flat raise, 40 cents or 60 cents. Right. Or whatever, and, whatever it is. That we, way, they all stay proportionally about the same, and everybody's getting the same pay raise. Yep. What do you do with somebody who is at top step? Give them, you give, give them the cost of living adjustment. That's it. Longevity raise or cost of a cola. Here's the here's the problem. That's what we've been with, doing. Here's the problem with that. Well, I know, and that's been a problem. If you took a look, at the salaries, the the changes in salaries in 2010 to 2017. We had a real problem at the top steps. We had people out there who were getting who who, who were getting bonuses of three or four thousand dollars to the point that even with this great salary, we've got people who are above this top step. That's the problem we've got. And if you go back to that, you're going to have the same problem again because someplace along the way, the board of selectmen are going to decide, look, you know, we 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 need to be able to give these these people more, and they do. I think there should be no steps. You get a percent raise, a, a dollar percent, a dollar, 40 cents an hour raise every yep. year, yep. no matter where you are. And then if you, if you do well on your valuation, maybe there's a bonus. It's just not going to work. We've talked about this thing if for the evaluation is not going to work, worked. forget about the bonus then. Now, the person that works at the deli counter, Big Y, he doesn't get this, he or she doesn't get this kind of raise after 10 years. They get a raise by leaving the deli counter and becoming manager of produce. Exactly. Do you the raises it? here, are, you do it by position. Right. Do you know? Huh? Do you know that? Well, typically, no, I don't. I'm a private that. sector. I mean, the only I, way I got a raise was get a. Any, any, any private sector company I ever worked Me for. Me too. You got your increase by going to a new position. Exactly. Increase in responsibilities or, or title. That's the only way you got a raise. And, and if you did real well that year, and you didn't get a raise because you didn't get a new title, they gave you a bonus. Yes. So, so that's the private sector, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. So if I go and get you the schedule, the salaries that are paid to nurses at Bay State, and well, Bay State's strange, but Cooley Dick that does have a yeah. Uh, who are you going to relate that to in this town? A nurse to what? I'm nurse. just, I'm just, I'm just saying. No, you I'm will, just you saying will, a nurse. You will see steps, and you'll see starting, and then you'll see seven or eight steps. 
But they have to do something along that way. They have to stay there for a year to go from step one to step two. I can't have help evaluation. that it's there. I mean, you don't have to like it. It's there. Okay. The then, teachers, uh, the same thing. Your argument that, well, they have, uh, you know, they negotiated a contract. Do you want all of these employees in here to negotiate a contract? It's going to come to that. Well, it may come to that, but why? But negotiate after. Well, well, hell, if the police department is settled for 2.5%, we got to give eight, then they'd, we'd be better off with it. negotiating the contract. Right, try and negotiate <laughs> the 8% down to four. Yeah. Well, we're still, got, we're still covered by two and a half, no matter how you cut it. I just think it got out of whack last year, and it's just getting worse. And we're not doing anything to resolve it other than pass the buck again this year. <clears throat> and it's not our call. We just don't have to vote. I can propose an amendment to decrease uh, salary budget when we voted here to reduce it back to what it was last year with a 2% increase. And that could be a motion on this to this board committee. Whether you vote it or not is what we do, what we recommend. If we don't yeah. recommend a raise, we don't have to recommend a raise. That's our only option. Well, no, it's not the only option. I mean, you know, you can turn around when it comes to vote on the floor. Maybe I'd have to sit out in the audience and turn around and say, well, do you, the public does understand this. This is a 5.8% raise for these individuals or 7.6% raise for these individuals. This and, year and again next year and the following year. And, if the following again, year. and if the public understands that they are giving out that kind of raise and they're governed by two and a half, there again, so be it. It's up to the voter. I agree. But all we're throwing out there is a budget number and nobody's saying that they, you know, that, that this includes, you know, five to seven percent. It's going to include five to seven percent all the time, you know, just for just for existing for another year. I mean, if that's what it's got to take, then well, so maybe we request the personnel committee to prepare charts for the town meeting floor to show the potential increase of one in town employee over the next ten years. Percentage of increase and in dollar increase. Here it is, right here. I'm just saying, yeah. Nobody right knows that. The, 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 this that. will be this schedule, not the, the list, but the schedule is supposed to be on. Town it meeting is. It is. Remember and how, and how, saying, long, how long do they get to look at? How long? Three minutes. But I think what last year nobody nobody, nobody said it. last no. year everybody's getting a step no matter what they do. Yeah. Nobody said that. It needs to be said to the town. Well, so long as you're well, willing to say that everybody has always gotten a step in the last 40 years that I've gone to town meetings. But nobody knew. It. Well, but. I, I've, I've been to 30 town meetings and I never knew it until I became part of this committee. Nobody ever mentioned, oh, everybody gets an automatic raise. But they have. That's well, the I point. know they have, I, but I it's been everybody hidden. Everybody knew that. No. I certainly didn't either. And. and They've all gotten that you raise. Know one person that never got a raise? You? I don't well, know. Yeah, when I was a slut. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. That's because you were overpaid then. Well, that's not true because it happened before. It was a lot of money. It was. But there again, how, how many of those articles go onto the floor with a salary? So there's, there's only uh, two or three right. of them that go out there as a raise mm -hmm. with the individual salary. All the rest of them are all hidden in a one line so budget. Line on. Yep. They're all hidden. Well, I don't know if you'd call that hidden, but... Well, I, I'm, 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 no, no, not no, purposely. I, well, no, okay. No, I understand. It, I, no, no, I'm not saying nobody's not, trying to hide it's anything. It's not obvious to it the just, public. It's just that all, all, the, all they see is, is uh, you know, 265936 It doesn't break it down it's that, uh, you know, $46,000 is for salaries and, uh, you know, uh, and things like that, you know, and which, which there again, you know, haven't got a month of, uh, for town meetings, so you can't do it that way. But so maybe... Does this make any, I mean, when I, I worked for, when I, after I got out of high school, a couple years after I got out of high school, I started working in construction. It was unionized construction. I was an oiler on a crane, if anybody knows what an oiler on a crane yeah. or an well, oiler on a... Walk around a squirt can, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Well, polish it, polish, polish it, it, polish you know, it, clean yeah. the tracks, every, every, everything, everything. 
run errands for the operator. Yep, <coughs> exactly. Go get the coffee. Uh, and if you had a good operator, yep. it was a good job. If yep. you had a real crap one, then you... I had both. <laughs> Life uh, was rough. <laughs> but I was getting I was getting three bucks an hour, three dollars and twenty cents an hour. This is nineteen sixty three. And I can guarantee that that person now I is making over thirty dollars now. Uh, maybe thirty five or forty. That's including all the benefits. Yeah, union union prevailing wage rates include times. all your benefits. How many that years? does not include benefits. How many years? Okay. Thirty years. Well, look, I was there. You worked. So I, why the hell I, are you telling I me? I review prevailing wage rates and payrolls on a. I don't care what you reviewed. I'm saying the three bucks an hour that I was getting did not include okay. the health yeah, insurance. Yeah, but that was back times. then. That was been, I'm saying right now, if you go right now, to, if you look at yeah, you're supposed to do it. You're talking thirty-five dollars an hour. Yes, you're supposed to include it. You include well, that's different the, back I'll, then. I'll, I'll see if I can go get it for you. And the the I wage rates that you're next time. well, but that's not the prevailing wage. That's the hourly wage that somebody in that position is getting. Right. Now, that's to not, to that's, that you need to add all the other stuff. They're not making sixty-five dollars an hour. I know they're not. At two percent a year. I don't know. What's two what, percent what a year for thirty years? Well, labor is making about forty-nine. Bucks. Did you run it out in the computer? Yeah, my calculator. Ninety-two bucks an hour. Ninety-two. If you gave them two percent raise every year on your three bucks for thirty years, it comes to ninety. I said three dollars an hour oh. back in nineteen sixty-three. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. two percent increase every year for thirty years. It's ninety-two dollars now. Do you remember that? And I'll give you a sheet. No, it's right here. Yeah. I don't know what the point is. I missed the point. I'm sorry. Well, the, yeah. po the, the point, point is, is the point is the that you started point. at three bucks an hour, and it's and it's now up to thirty-five dollars an hour. Yeah. My wife started as a nurse at two bucks an hour, and Cooley Dick, she was making almost forty dollars an hour when she left. Right. Forty something years. Right. And and that didn't include it didn't include health insurance. It didn't include sick time. It didn't include any other benefits. It didn't include. So um, I mean, wages have gone up. I agree, 100% with you. But now so, the, so the point from, I don't understand. From two dollars to to forty bucks, or whatever the hell the numbers were, but those are close enough. Two percent yeah. is not going to get you yeah, that. Yeah, you know that there's all it, kinds of scenarios it, out there. I mean, you hey, look, Skip. It did not. You, I'm sorry. You don't know what you're doing. That's all yeah. I can say. Yeah, what do you mean? I don't know what I'm doing. Three dollars times one point oh two. Three dollars. Three times one point oh two times thirty years is ninety one eighty. Right. Why are you there multiplying by thirty years? Because we're saying what they're getting now. You said back in nineteen sixty three. That's, that's not how you do that. I told you you don't understand math. I'm be, I'm yeah, well. You don't. I, I I would I taught math by the way, and that's not how you do it. Skip. Right, how would you do it? Can I say something? I do would you, take 1.02, raise it to the 30th power, and multiply it by 3. Yep. You get a bigger number if you're going to raise, if you're going to use exponents. 1.02? Go ahead. Give it a try. I can't point, do it. It's like 1.999. So 1.03 is so, the 30th power. All, my, my only point seven. is... I don't have that. You're, 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 you're I right. think you're, you're, miss, you're missing the point. You're looking... You're, you're zeroing in on that 5% or 6% or we said, what was it almost 8%? And what you really need to look at is the big picture. And you're, you're, you're putting blinders you on. tunnel vision. Yeah. No one's, no one's going to be willing to take the job if you're going to give them that 2%. Unless you're going to start them at the top step or something close to that. I don't know. No. I, don't, I don't agree with that. So. I, don't I think minimum wage is 10 or 11 bucks an hour. Yep. If you got anything over 12 or 13, people will come to work what for the town because of job security, benefits, pay increase every year. Yep. There's a lot of bennies working for the town. And the big one, when you retire, you get a lot better retirement than you would with social security. Well. You know anybody who get is getting a lot more than three three thousand bucks a month on in here for pension? I don't know. Maybe. Oh, definitely. It's, I would. I would yeah. bet yes. 
Oh, 80 percent of your salary if you if you. I suppose rich. if you're making sixty thousand, eighty percent would yeah. be four thousand a month. That's right. All right. Less less something. But you got to take something off for spouse. the wife to get fifty five percent. Oh, the, yeah. Right, your wife. Right, but you easily get that. You just have to be a retirement age and weren't to have twenty years in. You get eighty percent of your salary. No, not twenty years. You got to have to. 30? You'd have 32, 32 years. Okay. 32 years. At 60, age, or age 65. 65 yeah. Whichever comes first, then you get up to 80%. Okay. But still. But it's it but age you 60. take 80% of $40,000, that's 32000 Yeah. That's a hell of a lot more than you get from Social Security. No question about it. It's true. It's a lot more than you get from Social Security? There's a whole lot more than I get for Social Security, I'll tell you that. A lot more than I'm gonna get. <laughs> I mean, a lot more than I get. Come on, Kippy. You're a successful businessman. And I've looked You're gonna at, do very well. It, it has nothing to do with Social Security. No. I can <laughs> try, I can guarantee you that. Well, what happens is you're not supposed to start your investments late in life. I didn't start my investments, but the Social Security is that's something else. Well, the money's gonna be there. What I was going to say is that, you know, life has a lot of different situations, you know. And, and I can talk about my wife, even though I know she's watching me if we're on TV. You know, she worked for the Department of Public Health and had a good job. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden, within three months, she was given a choice. You take a 20% pay cut and a 20% hourly cut, we find another job. And so that's... I've never heard of that. Well, it happened. DPH, it basically... The only one that I have seen recently was the overpay from the... Uh, post office. Huh. They cut their workers back a yeah. percentage. What it was, I don't know. Yeah, she had, and they've she, gone to hiring everybody as uh, part-time. Part -time, yeah, yeah. She, she took an $8 an hour pay cut and she went from 40 hours to 32 hours. Really? Yeah. Or, or the, there just wasn't enough money that they were going to eliminate the job. That's the way it went. So. Yeah, but everybody's feeling the structure in Fort State. I mean, that's, that's uh, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, whoever. Was she working for the state? Yeah, Depart yeah. Department of Public Health and uh, can, can Tobacco we, Control. Can we adjourn? Yeah. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. That's not debatable. <laughs> I thought you were going to make a motion on the Bruce. Bruce said he's going to wait until next week when Bruce isn't here. <laughs> <laughs> what am I supposed to be doing? I'm going to make a motion.